Hex was doing so great, homies. Will Hex bounce off crucial support and make newer highs? We have Bitcoin continuing to make higher weekly highs. This is super bullish. All that and more in this video. What up, homies? It's the Crypto Homie back at you with one of those crypto videos. Before we dive into it, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. So diving right into it. As we can see right here, we have Hex. It only has nine days and nine hours left for you to be able to stake for a big payday. So if you're not staked yet, I don't know what you're doing, homie. You better get staked. But more importantly, let's go check out the chart. You know, recently we, we made the high of around a dollar. No, I'm sorry, I apologize. If it was a dollar, that, that would be crazy. About 1.6 cents, which is still pretty good. Compared to if you, screw, if, like if you zoom out and look back here, I mean, we were, you know, a fraction of a penny. But currently we're bouncing off this area right here. And if we look left, we can see we did pop up here and smack down before. So we did bounce off this area around, um, you know, about 0.6 of a penny. So six tenths of a penny right there. It's, it's not it's not too bad. Hopefully we can, you know, build a foundation here and bounce back up, break the 1.6 penny area and, you know, continue making higher highs. I mean, with big payday coming up, uh, maybe people are actually selling before this. Maybe they're anticipating a massive drop after big payday. Who knows? Only time will tell. But at the end of the day, though, I mean, if, as long as we can hold this and support that, because we definitely do not want to go down to like two tenths of a penny, that would not be good. Because that's like like the price of when it first came out. So just keep that in mind. We definitely want to hold this, see where things go. I mean, with big, big payday coming, I mean, everybody's going to get a massive amount. You know, maybe people will end stakes early. There are penalties, so it depends how you planned it. Well, depending if, if, you know, it can actually affect your principal stake, your principal amount. So keep that in mind. We have a nice tweet from Richard Hart. He said, people are buying millions of dollars of hex and staking it for 15 years. He says, no cryptocurrency in history has had its users prove upfront their long-term belief as much as Hex users have. The stakes in Hex are serious. They are real-time locks. Imagine how good that is for price. I mean, just think about it. They're locking up some of the supply. So now they're having less circulating supply. That right there, in theory, should be great for the price as long as there's still demand. So just think about it. Either this thing is going to be the next biggest thing or it's the next biggest scam. One or the other. That's why I say always do your own research, make your own decisions about your own investing you know, like strategy. So just keep in mind, pe people are investing for 15 years. I personally have some hex like invested for 15 years and say, hey, let's see what happens. You know, just put a little bit in, see what happens, you know, not financial advice, just my own personal strategy. So what do you guys think about that? You know, you got, I mean, it, it, like it is kind of crazy. People are willing to ha uh, stake hex for 15 years. And moving on, we got a plan B. So some good old Bitcoin stuff. He said, people ask if I still believe in my model, you know, his uh, stock to flow model. To be clear, I have doubt. I have no doubt whatsoever that Bitcoin S2FX, you know, stock to flow is correct. And Bitcoin will tap 100K to 288K before December 2021. In fact, I have new data that confirms the supply shortage is real. In my opinion, 2021 will be spectacular not financial advice. Whoa, this is coming from the man himself that created the stock to flow model. This guy has so much bullish information out there. And he says, to be clear, he, he has no doubt whatsoever that it actually will happen. I mean, he's calling 100K to 288K. There was an article that mentioned that he's, he's calling for a possible blow off top that could potentially hit $864,000 per Bitcoin. I don't know about you, but that is a massive, massive price right there. You're talking to blow off top. The odds you never sell that high. You may, may, you may be able to get out around 700K, but still 700K per Bitcoin, even if you just bought 0.1 Bitcoin, that's some decent bucks right there. Some decent bucks for just a little bit of good old Bitcoin. But as always, he says, not financial advice. I mean, and if, if you haven't seen the stock to flow model, I don't know why you haven't checked it out. I mentioned, I, I, like I've showed up plenty of times on this channel. If not, just go check out his Twitter at 100 trillion USD, you know, plan B. He's definitely a great file. He has great information about stock to flow, not just with, you know, Bitcoin, I mean, mainly with Bitcoin, but like with other asset classes as well. Just hearing this from the man himself saying that he still believes in it 100% that 2021 will be the year. I've been saying, Fourth quarter of 2021, we're going to see an all-time high. We're, we're going to be way over 20K by the fourth quarter of 2021. I think December next year, we're going to have massive, you know, 100 plus K Bitcoin. Just with the way the Fed is just printing money, just printing more dollars, everything's coming out. The way this whole, you know, healthcare crisis thing, you know, the whole thing that's going around that's making people sick. 
the way the whole um like the politics are going right now everything's just feeding everything up you got paypal you know they're they're open up just to a little bit of customers they allowed they opened it to just a small group of their customers they had a ten thousand dollar weekly limit guess what they're now up in it to fifteen thousand dollars a week because people just keep buying it like they keep maxing out the, the, like their limit so they definitely underestimated their demand for buying bitcoin so wait till they get out to 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent of all the paypal users just imagine what will happen there and you have the great news about square like everybody's gonna be selling bitcoin we possibly could have an etf like coming out but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter we have grayscale's trust fund that's working out pretty great the trust is working out great i mean it's kind of scary how much bitcoin they're buying it uh it they, they like they own a lot of bitcoin and that is like like an issue but uh while, while we're on the subject of bitcoin i mean look at this weekly candles we've had one two three four five green weekly candles and this is our you know this could be our sixth one uh, it just started has six days left but look at this massive moves only time will tell if this will be another one. But look, we broke through 12.5, then we broke through 14. It was great to have a candle close above $14,000 on the weekly. That's what we wanted to see. Now, what we really want to see to be even more mega bullish, we want this monthly, oops, we want this monthly candle to close above $14,000 because that'll be the first monthly candle in the history of Bitcoin to close that high. So that, that, that right there would be mega, mega bullish. So, just, but just going back to the daily, you know, like we're having some volatility. Yeah, yeah we smacked back down the other day to 14.3. That was a great buying time. Did you buy it on that day? That that was a great buying opportunity. If we, I wouldn't be surprised to see Bitcoin bounce back down to 12.5. I would not be surprised to see that. And if that does happen, I know I will be filling my bags up even more. Because there was plenty of people saying, oh, I'm waiting for 10K to come back in, waiting for 10K. Guess what? We're at 15K right now, 15.3. What do you think is going to happen first? $20,000 Bitcoin or a $10,000 Bitcoin? Let me know your opinion down in the comments below. And that, you know, we, like we have to stay, stay level-headed here, like homies. Check out the Fear and Greed Index. We're at a 90 for today. Yesterday was an 82. Last week was a 71. Last month was a 53. So things got greedy. Scrolling back down here. I've said before, we needed to bounce off this 40, you know, this 40 area on the fear and greed which we did we bounced off we broke through the 56 broke up here and then look i said we had to get above the 75 here the 78 area that basically 80 we did i would not be surprised to see us bounce above the high back here in june 2019 which was about 95 if i can get on the right one yes yeah, so it was about 92 to 95 on the fear and greed i would not be surprised to see us beat that i mean we're currently for today at a 90 so keep that in mind it, it, like it'll be interesting to see how things play out and hey i did see something with this lending platform how they pretty much pulled the rug so go get yourself a ledger nano s or a ledger nano x in, in the description of all my videos and protect your crypto by holding it yourself you know the, these exchanges you just don't know what's going to happen you got to at least have some on some held by yourself so you know be safe out there homies and please do, do a lot of research if you're going to use one of those lending platforms because who knows what's going to happen if they're if they're offering outrageous aprs it's probably too good to be true you know if, it, if it's too good to be true probably is so just wrapping it up homies we're seeing this major majorly bullish news for, like for bitcoin we're pushing 16k on the weekly <laughs> This is looking great. You closed at $15,400. This is mega bullish. When will 20K be here? I would not be surprised by the end of the year. All right, homies, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button, subscribe for more content. And as always, this is not financial advice, just pure entertainment, education purposes only. Have a great day, morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are from, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Crypto Homie, signing out.